wonderful world of Disney. In part one of our story, Mrs. Booth and her sons headed for the beach and a summer that would give two imaginative boys lots of time to themselves. I know I'm not going to be much fun for you with the deadline of the book coming up. Leonard Booth had dreams of becoming a super sleuth. I'm Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes, you? But his brother, Alfred, the movie maker, had okay, different okay. plans in store. Action! Until a mangy hey, mutt ruined the scene. in the cave now. Leonard, you and that dumb dog. That's the third take he's ruined already. He's a good dog. He is, huh? Good for nothing. That there's the thievingest mutt in this county. It's Watson. Well, you can call him anything you like, son. He's trouble to me. And trouble's exactly what our movie makers found one day while out filming. Patrick's the cliff and Dracula's castle. You mean the outer lighthouse? It's perfect. And perfect it was for a pair of jewel thieves who used the place for a hideout. Oh, that's beautiful, baby. Little did they know, the lighthouse was also the backdrop for Alfred's movie. Hey, listen to this squeaky door. And a treasure trove of clues for young Sherlock Dynamite. and Watson. Somebody is staying here, right, Watson? The klepto canine later returned. You left that door open back there. The dog's upstairs. And swiped the key clue to the case. Nora, the dog's got the jewels! Get him, Come back here, you little mutt! And now, as Watson returns with the jewels, we continue with part two of the mystery of Dracula's castle. Hi, Watson. Mom sees it. How'd she get this? Movies and cool. What's that? It's mine. Watson gave it to me. That mud been thieving again? No, he just found it. Somewhere. Yeah, in the junkyard. No, uh uh. It's real rubies and gold. She sure looks like glass to me. Dracula can wear it. That's dumb, because Dracula doesn't wear a necklace. He wears a ring. Why? Because it's part of the story, that's why. Well, that's what's left out for the body's gone. Yeah. See, the stake is pounded in. Dracula turns to ashes. The wind stirs up and blows the ashes all around. All that's left is Dracula's ring. The end. He can wear a necklace, too. That's dumb, because he wears a ring. A ring like the one we saw at Mr. Wallace's jewelry store. Hey. He might not be a dummy after all. Maybe that necklace is worth something. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you two going? Just to Mr. Wallace's jewelry store. We'll be right back. 20 minutes. Okay. Come on. Come on. Anything? I've heard that before. Well, we're here on business. And our children, Nicholas. We were wondering if you could tell us how much this is worth. May I, son? Yeah? 
for a reproduction. Reproduction? Well, look how it sparkles and shines. Sure looks real to me. No, it's only costume jewelry. Well, it must be worth something. I'll bet you it's worth at least as much as one of these Dracula rings over here. Uh, I don't know. They're pretty expensive. Well, think about it this way, Mr. Wazdo. You know, you can do lots of things with the necklace, but you can just wear a dumb ring. <laughs> you got a point there. You really want this ring, don't you? Yes. Well, maybe I can do something. Okay, I'll trade. Don't tell anyone, though. Don't want people to think I've gone discount. Great, it's a deal. Better give them the necklace. No deal. You said all we were going to do is see if it's worth anything. And it is worth something. It's worth a Dracula ring. Now, Leonard, this is a great deal, you dummy. It's a lady's necklace, not for a real boy like you. Well, I like it. Leonard. Trade. Oh, hey, 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 what's happening, man? What's going on? Well, he's the only one with the money. Money. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you two rings. One for each of you. Now, that's downright generous. No. Well, what's so special about this necklace, Leonard? I mean, what is it? It's rubies and gold. Oh, really? Well, may I see it? Hey, it's just costume jewelry. Yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Come here. Come here. Come over here. Now look at Mr. Warren, you have a light. Yeah, right, right, right. Put it right there. You see that? That stone is gone. That jewel is gone. This, this thing can't be worth much. Well, I don't care. But I could use it. No, maybe. I'm working on a collage right now where these just might fit in. How much are you willing to sell this for? I'm not selling. Come on, Leonard. I got a movie to make. Hey, uh, how's it going? Uh, how's it going now? What? Your movie. How's that uh, movie going? Pretty good, I guess. Good. Except for some people. I've been thinking about your movie a lot, actually. And uh, I was wondering, uh, I'm going to have some free time tomorrow. Would you boys like to film inside the lighthouse? Inside? In yeah. Dracula's castle? Right inside. Wow! You like that? Yeah. Okay, one stipulation, though. Oh, anything. It's no dog. Oh, no. Wadzingles are everywhere I go. Leonard, no dog. Oh, that's okay. It's a deal, okay? Good, buddy, good, good. Sure, no problem. Right, good. See you boys tomorrow? Good. Okay. Sure. Good. Goodbye, thanks a lot. You're certainly welcome. Goodbye. Aren't you finished yet? Don't rush me now. It's got to be right. A necklace is a necklace. No kid's going to notice the difference when we switch them. Oh, well, this kid might. Just leave it to me. I'll get it. No, what are you doing? I'm going to take the dynamite and the fireworks, and I'm going to lock them up here, where they'll be safe from your little guests. <laughs> Start moving up, slowly, slowly. 
Start advancing towards the victim. Fine. And start slowly moving. Right? And start walking and climbing up the steps. You all right? What happened? It's just a stupid cape. Do I have to wear it? Yes, you have to wear it. Every Dracula has his cape. What about getting the shot in a safer place? Hey, I know. How about trapped up on the walkway here? Hey, you guys! It's just perfect up here! It's a lot safer, too! Come on, everybody, let's get set up! Don't forget the phony one! I got it, I got it! Hurry up! We need you up here! Ready for the next setup! Noah? Noah, come on! Better just think, the only escape, 300 feet down to those jagged rocks. Yeah. Hey, get over here. No, wait. No, no. Get over here. Yeah. So we can get the ocean in the background. Uh-huh. Here, Jean, get over here in the doorway. Keith, put the light up for our shadow effect, okay? Good now. Turn it on. Want my teeth in? Yeah, good. Wait a minute, my necklace. Oh, I've got it. Uh, must have dropped when you fell on the oh. stairs. Hey! Oh, Wait. no! I'm sorry, kid. That was a nice necklace, too. My necklace! <laughs> hey, Leonard! Leonard, come back here! to reach that. Look at it, will you? It's 150 feet down there. Let's take a break. We've been at it long enough. Isn't that right, Jean? Yeah, good idea. Yeah, ice cream sound good to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's get some ice cream. Come on. Come on, Alfie. Alfie, what flavor do you like? Strawberry. Strawberry. We have strawberry. Good. Right
right there, son. Hold tight. And don't move until I tell you. Now, grab hold of my foot. Come on. Pull up. Get that right there. Nurse mating you. Come on, I'm gonna take you home. Thank you very much, Mr. Wansdell. You're welcome, Mrs. Booth. Young man, you don't realize how close you came to get. Uh, well, uh, he just doesn't realize. Leonard, you could have been killed. I wasn't. Yeah, I know you weren't, but you could have been. Mm. Now, just a minute, young man. Gee, where in the world were you? I was helping Alfie make his movie. Yes, but I have two sons. You're supposed to be taking care of them both. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <sighs> All right, you two are confined to the house. Well, me? Why me? I didn't do anything. Well, that's just it. You're Leonard's older brother, and you should have been looking after him, too. One of these days, Leonard. Alfie. Sorry, Mom. Guess you're right. Gene, the tuna fish salad's in the refrigerator. Yes, ma'am. You dumbhead. Now, how am I going to finish my picture? I had to get my necklace. You and that stupid necklace. And you didn't even get it back. You want to bet? If you rub that necklace any harder, it's going to disintegrate. Something's wrong. There are five rubies in it before. Well, maybe one fell out when it hit the rocks. It's still pretty. It doesn't sound like before. Hey, are you just about finished with those invitations, Jean? Yeah, almost. Here, I'll read you the list. We got, let's see, your mom and my dad. Um, and I asked Keith and Noah. Oh, and Mr. Wazdell. Is that all? I mean, this is a big movie premiere. we got to have more people. What are you expecting? Big lights and a red carpet? Mom? Mom? Hi, honey. Sorry. Hey. Now, wait a minute. You're busy. No, come on back here. I'm not too busy to talk to you. What is it? It's my necklace. Something's wrong. It's not the same. Hmm. I mean, three stones are missing instead of two. No, it's more than that. I just know it's not my necklace. Looks like you got yourself a real mystery here. Yeah, that's what I think. Any suspects? Hmm? Well, if it's not your necklace, I'd want to know who has it. Did anybody show an interest in it? Everyone. But, Jean... Now, wait a minute. Number one rule, don't trust women. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Well, there's Alfie. Yeah. He wanted me to trade it for a ring. He's got shifty eyes, too. It's another point against him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got it. What about Noah? What about him? He said it was nice. And Keith, he wanted to use it for his painting. Well, you got it. Keith? No, no, that's too obvious. Now that you have the suspects, pick out the one least likely to have done it, and he you got your crook. Really? Well, that's the way it works in my books. That is, unless there's a butler. And then the butler did it. We haven't got a butler. Don't have. Mm -hmm. 
We don't have a butler. Uh -oh. Least likely? Thanks. Pick out the one least likely to have done it, and you've got your crook. It's still pretty. I have a painting, you know, a collage. Trey. It's still pretty. Sorry, kid. That was a nice necklace, too. Trade. Least likely. Least likely. after my necklace. Even you. You wanted me to trade it for that ring. That was days ago. What do I need a ring for now? You're in my dream, too. Come on, Larry. I'm busy. You did say it was pretty, didn't you? Yeah, I said it was pretty. That's what I thought. Of course, I'm not much of an expert. I like beads myself. Jewelry doesn't do that much for me. Mm. Hey, Leonard, don't run away. I'm going to be needing you to help me with the cookies for tonight's party. Leonard? Okay. Rainer, I'm so glad you could come. I want to personally thank you for letting my boys film at the lighthouse. It meant a lot to them. Oh, it's our pleasure, Miss Booth. We enjoyed that. I suppose you know everybody here? Sure, sure. How are you? <laughs> Alfie's master, please, who will begin shortly. Won't you sit down? <coughs> cookie. Get your cookies right here. Oh. A cookie? Thank you, sir. A cookie? How'd you... Hey, I see you got your necklace back there, Leonard. That's great. Yeah, I'll have one of those, Leonard. Thank you. How'd you get it back? I got it, but it's not mine. Oh, yeah? Whose is it? I don't know yet, but I'm going to find out. Well, if you want my opinion, Leonard, that's the same ordinary necklace you had before. Unfortunately, I finished that collage I was working on, so I won't be needing the necklace anymore. <laughs> Did dreams really mean anything? Huh? Well, I had a dream last night about you, and you took my necklace. I never wanted your necklace, kid. It was just a dream. I got that one. Yeah, put them up. There you go. Just put them on the table. Yeah. Well, things will happen. Gene, turn off the lights and turn on the music. Okay. Leonard, where'd you get those teeth? <laughs> Elfie, it looks very good, very good indeed. <laughs> Terrific, Leonard, you're quite an actor. <laughs> Holy smokes, Leonard, that's really something. <laughs> That's real cute. Noah, he kind of looks like you. Oh, yeah, it's terrific. Just one. Oh. oh, there's that dog again. Oh. 
Alfie, that was a fine movie. You're going to be another Alfred Hitchcock. No, Orson Welles. Well, that, uh, we're going to take off. We're going to stay for coffee and Well, we have a couple of things to do. Yeah, yeah, we got to go. We're just Good night. Going out. Good night. Sheriff would have realized that was a hundred thousand dollars stolen necklace. Well, that Hick Sheriff wouldn't screen. recognize a poster if it's right under his nose. One thing I know. No one, I mean no one can recognize the Tommy A. Jewels now. to celebrate. To the necklace. The money we get from it, we can get out of this hole. I'll get some ice. Sure wish you could hurry him up. I'm getting a little jumpy. Stop worrying, will you? Don't you worry, Mrs. Booth. We'll find him. He can't be far. Look, I'll tell you what. You get your car, search the north area. I'll drive south. I'll meet you at the town square. Well, what about us? Well, stay here and start looking. And don't go far. I don't want to be looking for you. One lost youngster is enough, huh? We'll need a flashlight. It's in the kitchen drawer. Come on. <laughs>
quiet up here, okay? We'll send somebody by to let you out. All right? Kidnapping. They find the kid tomorrow. By then, we'll be long gone. Gone? Now, you don't think I'm going to stick around and become a ward of the state? You take my advice and clear out of here while you can, Mr. Washington. All of Mexico, anyway, it doesn't make any difference. Yes. Yes. Perhaps you're right about that. Oh, any sign of him? No. No, but don't worry. We'll find him. I'm going to take the east side. You go out towards the highway. Okay. I think so. You're, you're <laughs> going to be mistaken on that. Well, his bike's by the pathway. Yeah. His bike? Oh, he's down there? Well, we just got back here ourselves, see? Uh, he could be here around here somewhere. We wouldn't even know it, you know. With Leonard, he could be into anything. Uh, can we go look inside? Inside? Uh, that's, that's a good idea. Come on, kids. Let's go. Come on. Come on in. Watson. It'll be all right. Here's a good hiding place. Nope. I was sure he'd be up here somewhere. What are these his? Yeah, they are. Oh, well, good. At least, uh, we know he has been here.
you get the car. Throw it! Let's both get the car. A jewel thief? Why, those dirty crooks. <laughs> That's Watson! Don't get in front of the guy. Wait, wait a minute. Hold it. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Don't Leonard. move. What's the matter, Watson? What's wrong? Come back next summer. We haven't missed a summer yet. Leonard, get down here. Everyone gather around, Miss Booth. Everybody. I've got something here. What is it? I've got something for Leonard. What is it? One, two, three. <gasps> Ta-da! <laughs> wow. All right. And that's official. You are now my special deputy sheriff. Leonard, wow. that is really neat. Couldn't have cracked the case without you. Thanks. But half of it belongs to Watson. <laughs> oh, sure. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, my friends, let's go. Oh, Mom, can't we wait a little bit longer? Honey, that dog's been missing since we started packing last night. But you said we could take Watson with I us. I said if he wanted to come, we'd be glad to have him. But he's the town dog. You can't expect him to go just because we're leaving. But he's Watson. He's my partner. It's like... Sherlock Holmes without Watson. Oh, we'll take care of Watson. He'll be here when you get back. But, Mom, Watch it back you there, can't leave without Watson. Well, if he were here, but he's not here. Bye-bye. If he wanted to come, he would have been Bye, here. Bye, Drive carefully. Drive carefully. Bye. See you next year. Bye. 